Montclair Tabernacle is entering into an exciting season to reach more people for Christ than we ever have before. Uh, they operate in the number one truth of the Spirit, which is love. And I, I'm honored to say that. I would rather be no other place. We believe that strong families and an even stronger faith is the backbone of the future of our church. We want to prepare for the future, not for the purpose of building buildings but for the purpose of building lives that are planted on the rock. Our impact in Prince William and surrounding counties will be measured in how well we reach the next generation and how we support the needs of our community. That is why the time is now to make the dream that was given to our church many years ago a reality. It's really about finding that church that feels like home. And it starts from when you walk in, the friendliness, the way people welcome you, the way we are able to build relationships with each other really strengthens how we build that relationship with God. The very first service we were here, our kids sat in the big service and um, they even came home saying, wow, mommy, that was really cool. Like, I really learned about Jesus today. So that just in our hearts just made us know that this is where we need to be. And this is where the Lord has called us to be. Our goal as a student ministry is to help every teenager believe in Jesus, belong to a family, become a disciple, and build his kingdom. I've been able to grow in my walk with Christ. The younger classes, they've taught me well on how to live my life in the way that God wants me to. I was just so used to like the negative of the world. And when I, when I came in here, it was like the complete opposite that I felt like this isn't real. Like these people are just like putting up an act. But it's like the more I was here, the more I realized that there's nothing fake about here. Like this is genuine love and care for everyone. That's when I instantly felt like I want to be here in a place in this environment. We love kids and our new and improved building will include a brand new state of the art children's wing with classrooms that are both inviting and interactive, a safe and secure playground area. And one of the most important features is that we're going to care for those with special needs. This new facility will also include plenty of parking, a large new foyer with a place to gather and engage in meaningful relationships, new larger restroom facilities that can accommodate our growing crowds, and the remodeling of our existing building, which will create a larger kitchen area, a new youth pavilion, adult classrooms, and office space, and better yet, it will double the occupancy of our existing sanctuary so that even more people can experience the power of the moment when we all worship together. The first thing I noticed when I watched in this room was just something completely different. Like there's a reason I got off this highway uh, off of 234 to come to Montclair Tabernacles because you just automatically feel a presence. You feel the presence of the Lord. The Holy Spirit just draws people in. It just took us one Sunday and we really consider it home, you know, it was it was home for us. Over the next few years, we will join together on a journey for the future of Montclair Tabernacle. Along the way, we will be introduced to new individuals and families, neighbors that need hope, people searching for purpose and meaning. Every person reached is another story. Each person that decides to plant their feet on the rock is worth our investment. So I'm not a practicing Christian, but what really impresses me is how friendly the church is, how welcoming they are. They've always been very respectful and it feels like a family atmosphere. You have people that are so intentional with their time and their efforts just to welcome you when you're driving by and make sure you get an extra smile or extra, hey, how are you doing? Great to see you today. And so for me, it's just a church that just puts so much more effort and just into the body and people in general. The minute I step in, I felt like family. Never left since then. Really walking in the first time was definitely a very memorable moment. Um, just uh, feeling that peace that this was the right place to be. We have a lot of leaders here that like to honor Christ through uh, uplifting our kids and uh, the kids around us. They want us to be able to stand strong and have a firm foundation in Christ. And I would say that people looking into the church from an outside perspective benefit from going here and bringing the kids. Even as a person that comes every week, I still feel like when I come, I'm welcomed. And so when I found out that these people really believe in God, they believe in Jesus Christ and what He has done for us at Calvary, 
I said, this is a place that I want to fellowship with my children and my grandchildren. Yeah. This endeavor will not be easy, but our goal is to focus on being obedient to the Lord. And we know that He will do the rest. Will you prayerfully consider how you can stand on the rock with us? Jesus said in Matthew 16, 18, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. He taught us that what we do for the kingdom of God is worth it. And he's the one building his church, one person at a time. Help us build faith in one another. Help us build strong families in our community. And let's join together to build for the future so that new stories of transformed lives can be written for years to come. Men, women, boys and girls of every culture coming together to build their life on the rock.